Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy, Richard. Hi. And today we're going to talk about user preferences. Now, to get to your user preferences in Blender, they're hidden up here. So move your mouse up to the top. Click and drag this down. I'm not going to talk about all user preferences. I'm just going to talk about uh, some of the ones that I use. And uh, one of the ones I use all the time is view name. View name lets me have the name of the view. When you pick one of the preset views, like front, so there's front, and it's showing that it's orthographic right now, or top. If you were to uh, switch to perspective mode by hitting 5 on the keypad, you'd see it says perspective there so that you know you're looking at it with perspective. Hit 5 again to go back to ortho. Uh, Personally, I, I like ortho, so yeah. Yeah, I do too, for, especially for modeling stuff. Another one that's nice is when you move objects, for example, when I type G and I start moving this object, you can hold the control key and it'll snap to your grid. But if you want that to be the default, you can click snap to grid on grab move. So that way, I type G and I just move it, snapping. And if you de decide you don't want it to snap, then just hold the control key and it does the opposite of what it was doing before, which is this time not snapping, which is handy. And the same thing with uh, rotate and scale. That's mm -hmm. one that, you know, I don't keep on all the time, but it's nice to know. And if you want to select things with your left mouse, you could set that here. Uh, of course, that might mess you up when you're watching all the numerous uh, video tutorials out there where everybody is used to clicking with your right mouse. You'll know you've been using a Blender a long time when you start trying to select things in another program by right-clicking on them. Yeah, sometimes I actually do that. <laughs> yeah, me too. And uh, here I mentioned this in my uh, uh, preference differences between 245 and 246, is that the older, uh, the previous version of Blender, when you create a new object, uh, it would be aligned to the view and it would uh, appear in edit mode. So, for example, now with these off, I create a new object and it's not in edit mode. Let's go ahead and delete that. But if I do that, create a new object, cube, it appears in edit mode now. If you like that, if you know that you're going to be doing that most of the time. Yeah, I like aligned to view. I like that most times because I try to move it around and it's in edit mode, you know. If, but it's nice that you can switch it. Well, aligned to view is uh, watch. Now, let me go at kind of a, a funny view here. And I add an object here, cube. Uh, it's not aligned to view. Right now, it's set. If I type N, you can see it's set at its 0, 0, 0 rotation. So let's get rid of that. And now let's turn on aligned to view. Hit the spacebar, add the cube. And it's straight on to my view. So that's what it means. Oops. I meant, um,. Not aligned to view or edit mode. <laughs> yeah, you like that off. Yeah. Yeah, that's the new preference. So I, I, I think that's that's easier. And then another nice one is auto save, saving a couple versions, uh, and you can set how often it saves. Now, if you're working with like huge files, you might not want that on because it might be a long save. <laughs> uh, so you can set that all the way down to you know you can set that all the way down to zero. But it's good to have that up uh, a few a few versions, and. Uh, Here's your, I don't really mess with these except for this one, which sometimes when I'm on my laptop, uh, it doesn't have a keypad. And I do have an external keypad that I use, but if I don't have that with or I'm too lazy to get it, I turn this on. And with emulate key, uh, numpad on, then the numbers that are above the letters, instead of turning the layers on and off, what it'll do is it'll set the, it'll work like the uh, number pad. So there I just typed 1, and uh, it's not affecting the layers. It's, it's setting the view to, uh, to the front view. And that, so that's a real handy one. Yeah, I like that. And then on file paths, you can, if you don't like the default locations for, uh, like when you do a, a rendering, render something out, you can set that here. And another thing I like to do 
with regards to user preferences is, uh, and it's funny because since I do videos, I often go back to my defaults. If you don't, if you if you mess things up, you can always go back to load factory settings, and I'll set things back to to the way it was from the factory. Oh, one more thing I want to show is themes. Uh, you can add your own theme. So, for example, if you wanted, uh, you know, a nice <laughs> pink background or yellow, maybe. Uh, you can go in and you can change a variety of things like there. I'm changing. I really the, like that. Yeah, and customize it to, to whatever looks better for you, especially if, if uh, you know, depending on uh, your own personal preferences or maybe uh, just because it, you find certain color combinations easier to see. Yeah, so if you don't like gray, well, you can change it. <laughs> yep, yep. If you just if you if you just think, oh, gee, I'd rather have a black or white background or something else that's easier to work on, you can do that. I would like, uh, I don't know. I kind of like gray though. <laughs> Another thing that I like to do is I do like having four views. So I'll set these up: top, front, side camera and uh, have this be set up actually I like to have a cube in there too uh, in fact let's let's go ahead I'm going to uh, open a new document and set that up again hey something just came to me um can you split more than four areas oh yeah you can you can <laughs> Just keep splitting them as long as you have screen real estate space. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to set this up top, front, side, camera. And I still have my cube selected just like normal. And now what I'll do is I'll do control U and I'll save this as the default. So the cool thing is if I close out a blender and open it up again, I've got those four views. And remember, one of the things I like doing is I like having view name on. So if you're tired of just splitting the arrow, you can actually make it so that you can open it, you know? That's awesome. So then I just did control U again so that I'll have my view names here too. In fact, I'm just gonna move this down just a little bit. Control U, close this out. And you'll see now, when you, whenever you pop open Blender, I've got my four views, I've got it named accordingly, and uh, if I ever decide I want to go back, like because I'm going to do another lesson from scratch, I just set back to load factory settings. That's very useful. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.